Hey, we don't know exactly what we're doing today, but I know one thing I will be starting off messing with um, some stuff that is not a toy, but it's also not harmful. It doesn't have legs. So that probably doesn't make any sense. But I want to say thank you so much to Colton Scott for being the compadre of the day. I know over the last couple of videos I have completely forgot to do that. And I feel terribly. So I'm very, very sorry to my compadres. Also, I will be doing the video for you guys this coming week. And I'm probably going to do it on this kind of stuff. I haven't really done anything on this here recently, but I, I do want to do this because I have a buddy that's coming in Tardio. You, got, you guys know him. He's a guy who went coyote hunting and we went out and we shot. He's, he's, he's a good guy. Um, he's, in, he's still in the military currently, but he's driving down right now because he's going to be here today. I want to get some of this set up. I used to have, oh, my groin area. I ran a couple miles this morning, then I went out and did iron mics. All my guys in the military you know what I mean. I did iterations of iron mics is in between. That was a terrible iron mic, what I just showed you right there. But oh my gosh, I'm getting ready for the hunting season that's coming up. First hunt is in like a month. And I got to get them growing in the buttocks area. Really kind of prepped and ready for the walking. Anyway, don't know where that came from, but this is what I used to have on my scar. This is a Harris bipod. It is kind of... Honestly, I think it's outdated now. It's still really good for like bolt action, old school hunting rifles. I think that's great. That's the one I had on my scar currently, but I just took this off of my six and a half. The problem with these is they're a little on the pricey side, but you get what you pay for. And I'm actually gonna be putting this onto the scar. But I've got a different setup I'll show you guys. I know a lot of you guys like to see um, these kind of related stuff. So I'm gonna kind of show you. So for a while I was using this right here, and it's it's a good rest. It really, it's not bad. This is the one I've been using. The only problem I have with it is it's kind of heavy. It's kind of bulky, it's kind of big, but it really, really is very, very good. And I'm gonna find a different use for it. Like I think I'm gonna stick it on like the side-by-side, -side, like mount it directly on there, because it's not moving once it's on there, you know what I mean? But for more of a light, lighter version of that, I've got this. It's literally just a Manfrotto grip deal. That's all it is. And right now I got my six and a half on there. And it's that easy. You just kind of, and it's on. See what I mean? That's it. It's on there. The only thing I'm having is I'm trying to figure out where I want to put the actual other piece. I might bring it back just a little bit because right now it's a little bit butt heavy, butt stock heavy. That's pretty much how we're starting off my day. Oh, and then the, I got an extra one. I don't know what, I don't know. Should I stick it on my 6.8? The reason why I'm taking this off though is not that I think that it's like super outdated. It was so bulky. Where's the, like when this thing would be collapsed, helps if I push it the right way. There we go. Look how bulky that is, it's huge. When you go to put your hand up there, it's just like you couldn't, you couldn't grip the rifle correctly. Like you couldn't grip it correctly at all. So, me and Mr. Ugboot here, which I love, needs to be condensed down just a little bit more. Um, what do you think about the charging handle on that side? The only problem I have with it is when you rack it back, you will catch, I've done it multiple times, but I always have done it like this because I don't have to take my hand off to do this. See what I, mean? I think I'm just gonna keep it. Have you ever seen the internals on one of these? No, I haven't. You've never seen the internals? You wanna <laughs> see the internals? Yeah. Isn't that weird? It goes this first and that slides. It comes apart like a machine gun. Yeah, I was gonna say. Look at that. Literally a machine gun. Ugh. But you can't hurt that sucker. So this is, this is pretty much the deal. We do have an idea what we're gonna do today. This might end up being a two-parter of a video because it's gonna be such a long day, but it's gonna be fun. Oh, yep, the inner thighs, they're working hard today. Look at that, you cannot tell me. You sit up on your coyote stand, flip your little sights up, and look at this, how nice it is. Put your little hand grip on there. You can even turn it. I think this is gonna be a lot better when it comes to coyote on, because look, we oh, just yeah, for pop sure, it, dude. and look, and now we're going quick, quick, fast, and easy. Hey guys. If the last clip was kind of cringy and awkward, it's because at the very end of it, we didn't realize that Steven was actually filming. Steven's got this thing we call, well, Stevenisms. There's a record button on cameras. Sometimes he doesn't push them, which is probably 75% of the time. I have to redo things. Steven's cool though. Don't worry. No big deal. No big deal. What do we, what do we want to do now? I don't know, but uh, you know, I recorded that one. You recorded so that one? <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this together and we're going to bounce. You know where I'm going? No. You're going to take a guess? One guess, one guess. You get one Smoothie. guess. Smoothie. 
And that was a chocolate gladiator with just strawberry, man. Anything else in there for you today? No, though? that's it. Thank you. You know what I forgot, don't you? Yeah. We have to go back to the house after this. I forgot the metal detector. I got oh, everything but the metal detector. <laughs> what do you think I forgot? Uh, I was thinking like the bubbler. No, I got everything. Oh man. I forgot the metal detector. Dang it. Looks like we're not metal detecting down here. On a good note, at least that puddle has got some more water added onto it. Maybe. What are you doing, Steven? Oh, we're not. We're going, we're going that way, buddy. You guys see this little creek thing? I think they think there's a lot in here. There's actually a, an arm around there that I know there's probably a trillion, but let's fish this little puddle real quick. Oh, there's a, there's a good bluegill right there. There's a bluegill. There's a good one. Come on, buddy. We want that one. Yep, he's looking at the bait. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, put some water in there. Put some water in the bucket. That's what we're looking for right there. Look at that. There we go. That's going to be beautiful bait later on. Right now, we're going to be fishing this little tiny thing. We're looking for bait for later on in the day. Oh. Is that a bass? I think that's a bass. That's a large mouse, isn't it? Yep. Dude. <laughs> that's the smallest large mouth in the world. He's not. I'm a, he's, probably the, he's probably the king of this little creek right here. This little puddle. What do you think? We need more. We need more gills around that size. These are all being used for bait, by the way. I don't know if it's going to be in this video or a later date video. We haven't really discussed that yet. We're kind of just rolling with the punches for right now, but they will be used. Oh, hey, look at this little turd mongler right here. Nope, not that little one. That one right there. That's the one I want. Yep. Little panfish, panfish for days. I honestly think most of these we got in here are green sunfish. I really do. We got some green sunfish. We got some bluegills. I think we got some hybrids in here. So that. That's a sunfish? It's a green sunfish, I'm almost positive. But this, that's gotta be a bluegill. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty positive. Pretty positive we got red ears, we got green sunfish, and we got bluegills and maybe some like hybrids of bluegills and sunfish and somewhat. I'll show you guys. Ow, whoa, wow! Wow, that was a sharp son of a gun right in underneath the fingernail. That was tasty. Here's one. What do we got here? You guys think he's going to be good catfish bait or what? What do you think? Yeah? Catfish bait? We got some good size ones in here. Quality size ones. Like, look at this sucker right here. What are you doing, buddy? We got multiple different kinds in here, so I don't know which one they're going to be munching on. Look at that. There we go. We're going to put some ice in that bucket here in a little bit. We might go catch a little bit more down around the bend because there's some bass. We might do a little bit of bass fishing as well. Dang. That sucker underneath the fingernail, Stephen. It's tough, tough, tough cookies. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch right through here, man. Look right there. Man, this is almost cut off too, it is. What are you doing, Alex? You catch that fish? Yep, yep. There's the good ones right there, man. Good, good eating size, see them? It's like three swimming together. Look at that sucker. Look at that thing. We needed one big one. That's all we really wanted. One oversized one. He's big. I'm covered in water. Good to go. Alex, maybe just grab one more, man. And we'll uh, hop on out of here because we don't really need that many more. Hey, I think that's good, man. I think we're good. Well, we had a gentleman stop by, his name is Mike. He's a viewer. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> have it. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Oh, man. You have a, awesome. a good, not so, so hot day, I guess. Yeah, dude, it's awesome. I was like, man, I need to come out and go fishing if I wasn't going to pee on my throat. Well, there you go. I'm going to get Rack with a call and let him know we got all the panfish he, he needs. Well, I got everything you need, so I probably got uh, 15 of them or so. That's, that's tremendous. Do you need okay. any more? You don't need, good. You don't need any more, right? I've got one giant one though. Okay. I am on my way right now to come see you. Actually, I'm not on my way to come see you. I gotta go to my house first because I left my my metal detector. That should keep them alive. That's gonna keep them nice and. I was gonna say toasty, but that's literally the complete opposite. You know what? It's gonna be so. Your fly's undone. Is there still ice in that bucket? You think? 
No, and it's cold. I can it, feel it. Can? Yeah. So oh, they're yeah. probably pretty frosty oh, in there. Oh, they then. are ready. Okay, so Rackley just made it aware and very apparent. So the lost state here in Texas. So we got some panfish in here. Any kind of panfish, um, the, the ones that you guys saw me catch earlier. So you can take them from a body of water, like a creek or something, and, and use them in a lake as bait. The only thing you cannot do is pour that water that you had from a different body of water into that lake, which makes sense because that just stops the transfer of like zebra mussels and stuff. You know what I mean? But you can take the fish out, put them in the live well, which we're going to do, and then that is current, that will be the lake water. So that's pretty much, if you guys are wondering, there you go. That's, that's what's about to happen. Time check for you guys is what, 3 o'clock? Yeah. 3.35. 3.35. Oh, I love that smell. Y'all get that smell? It smells like watermelon a little bit, Some lake water, a little bit of shad. There she blows. She's afloat. Oh man, this one's full of leaves. <laughs> Look at that. This house is full of trees and leaves. Oh, thanks. Oh, there's they, these fish are spicy. This water is ice cold. Unleash the hounds. Oh, that's a party one. Look at that. That's a green sun. Yep. I knew I was right. Look. Bluegill, standard. That's the big one. That's the big one. That's, that's a big. Beautiful. That's a big old bluegill. Is it good? Oh, they're gonna be in a little shock, but <laughs> it's okay. Oh, perfect. These are great. You got great bait. That's actually a green. Yep, that's and a green you, sunfish. You had a green ear. I got a green, green sunfish. Well, I got many of those, not this one. Yep, that's a, he's got a bigger mouth, so he's a green <laughs> ear. So we only have one bluegill in there. Actual bluegill, yeah. Legitimate. So. I was I was telling him I think I was like, man, I think some of these are kind of hybrids because he was talking about because they kind of looked like a mixture of two different kinds of fish. Probably so. They're living in the same little little area. So now we got to dump that on not, land, not in the away water. from the lake, because we don't know what's in there. Could have scabies. Don't want scabies in the lake. Oh, it's still. Oh, it's definitely out. <laughs> <laughs> for sure out. It had to stop. I know that isn't all bluegill water. It's sitting a little low. <laughs> You got shorts on? How bad is it? It's in oh, there? it's gonna be pumping. It's gonna be pumping a while. All right, well, hey, I'll go in. That is fully <laughs> out. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the episode of, we're brand new to this. I might be I able tried to, to slide it over the side. I oh, might watch be able that to rod. It. Oh, it's out. It's absolutely out. Oh yeah. You know the good thing about mine is it's real sticky too because it's got fiberglass oh, yeah. in there. Oh it's sticky. Oh you're about to slide off. Oh you're fully dude, you've been doing extra squats lately. Oh yeah, they're busting on bait right there. The engine's still on. Um do we ain't tried up? What is this? Oh god. This will work. Dang. This is about to happen. Oh, you guys are out in front. Oh this is about to happen. I got two spoons out. There's just eight. Actually you know what? Here, you want one in the back? Here you go. You hear them? Listen to that. You hear that? Oh yeah. You hear that? They are popping like it's hot. I thank God I brought a metal detector and not a fishing rod. Dude, they're all over oh, there. My. All over there. Oh my. They're so moving. They're pushing they're them. Do, they're pushing them. They're gonna push all the way in here. They're gonna push them. They're just pushing them. They're all out, all on this. They're all right. Oh my God. Pretty much a big line out there. I know. Look at them. Look! 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. Those are those are some doozies over there. It's gonna oh, happen, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Look at the bird, look at the bird! Oh! That was a hybrid, that was a hybrid there. Oh, oh, look at that, here we go, here we go, here we go. They're busting it out of the water right now. Man, top water should be. Dude, you should get destroyed, like, out the yeah. gate. You got him? Oh, I'm on, I'm hooked up. I'm hooked up. Smoked. I'm hooked up. You wanna do a catch and cook as well tonight? <laughs> these are nice keepers though. Yeah, these are good keeper size. Do you want to throw them in the box and keep them? Do you want you want you want to you want to eat them? These are nice ones, dude. I'm not gonna turn it down. Okay. Put them on the other side. Um, for open, dude. Another one coming in. Awesome. Sand bass kings here. Look at him chase that chat. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, look at him. Oh my god, you could see him swimming right there. Look at him swim. Look at him. You could just see him on top of the water. Just boiling, swimming. Boiling we may just cross swords there. Oh, oh. You got one. oh he's off. 
Oh, he's on. Oh, too. came off. They're just chasing. Oh, there's one. There's one. Wow. There's one. This is a this is a keeper. This is a keeper. You got one? This has got to be a keeper. Ryder trying to get meat. Oh, you got one next to the boat too. It is everywhere. Hey, all around. Three, all six. around. Oh, this is a catch. This is for sure a keeper. You're about to hit the skillet tonight, baby. Oh, that's a good one. I got a good one. Oh, you did get a good one. Yeah. That's a keeper. We both got keepers there, buddy. Here, open up that back box. This is a keeper right there. This is the most random day ever. Start off talking about guns. <laughs> go catch some bluegill. Now we're gonna go catch catfish. Caught some freaking white bass. Brought a metal detector. It's fishing. I'm it's fishing. Fishing. Look at that on the left. Woo! Send it. Come I'm in them. I'm in them. Oh my God! Look at him just oh, bust about. Look at him bust about. Look at him bust about. Oh, he just busted my bait out of the water. Oh my God! A fish on the teeny tiny rod. I got a marlin. Four pound test, look at it. Look at the front of us. Look at the front of us. Oh, gosh. Oh, that is so much fun. Look at that. I, I, I gotta get crushed. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm hooked. I'm hooked up, baby. Triple up, triple up. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey, hey got a triple. Yeah. Hooked up. Hey, Alex got a great one. Too. Alex, keep oh, that. Party oh, foul. party oh, foul, Alex. Oh, yes. Catch and cook coming at you guys soon, I promise you. Look at that, right in the middle of it, come on. This reminds me, this is like a freshwater bonita. It is. It's a freshwater bonita. Oh, you're, you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on. You're on. <laughs> oh, look at this little rod, man. <laughs> look, oh my god, look at that bait ball. Oh, look, at that bait ball. <laughs> look at that bait ball. Dude, Steven, get that Dude, look at that bait ball, Steven. They've got him at the surface. Look at look that bait ball. Big. On the surface. I'm hooked up. Oh, he came off. Oh, he busted my bait out of the water. Oh, there's one. Oh, behind the bait ball. Oh, that is it. I caught the giant. <laughs> Come on, be a kipper, be a kipper, be a kipper. Got it. You good? Oh, yeah, we're tripped. Tripled up. We Alex, it. we're keeping these. I got a little one. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to hit the pan. <sighs> yeah, we were going to have deer meat tacos, but this is just going to take precedence. <laughs> oh, really? After a slaunch session of catching a bunch of white bass, now we're going to move on to more of a catfish deal. I am with the, 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 the king of sand bass, just as you guys are aware. I did bring the metal detector. Are we in focus? Because you know how this camera works. Sometimes it's just like... I think we're in focus. It's like, no, nah, I don't want to... Confirm two focuses. Confirm yeah. two focuses. Sometimes, I'm sorry guys, this camera does it has it's all mine. So, like I was saying, catfish, that's on our mind. Metal detecting, always on my mind. I go to sleep with this sucker. I think about it every night I'm in my bed. Just because I really love it. It's awkward. Oh, he oh, knows. He oh, he's knows. coming ripping. Yeah. He's coming. He's, he's got the tri tune. He's coming it hot. He's like, oh. I've got him. Look at him. He's ripping. Okay. Just call him CD. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I never, I never. There has to be one on there. There's no way it dove that far. What dove that far? Oh, no, there's some. Oh gosh, yeah, that, that's definitely a fish. Oh, Look at him. No. Oh my oh, god! No, no way! 